Atlanta's only hip hop station, Hot 1079 Gangster Girl Radio. I got my brother in the building, man. He's here. He's in the A Town. Ja Rule, Rule, what's yeah, up? Yeah, drama. What it do, baby? What it do? What's cracking, man? You know, out here working, man. Trying to put it together. That's all. Absolutely. Um, yeah. if you and Fifty was walking down the street, on, yeah. on the same side of the street, yeah. and y'all pass each other, what do you think would happen? I don't think nothing would happen. I think I think we both passed back mm-hmm. stage. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? In our in our lives and in our careers. You know, um, I know on my side, I'm over it. I'm past it. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I I wouldn't, you know, pull out the knife. I wouldn't, you know, pull out the iron and get crazy. I, I, I it's just would so you put far, out the hand? I don't know if I pull out the hand either. <laughs> you know what I'm, I, I'm not going to either extreme. Okay, I, I might just keep walking and 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 you do what you're doing, homie, and I'm happy for you. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? As a black man, we you know we all should be happy for each other, you know, struggling and striving and trying to, you know, make something for ourselves and our families in this business. And, and, and you know, I don't have no malice towards him or anything that he's doing. And I hope it's reciprocated. I hope he feels the same way. You know, if not, then, you know, that that is what it is, too. You know uh-huh. what I mean? Ja Rule is here. Um, very respectable answer. Um, two other people I wanted to ask you about that, you know, just have been part of your career and, you know, you came up with is um, DMX and Jay-Z. Yeah. Um. Let's let's start with X. You know. Um. What's what was your relationship like, and what is your relationship like, and what are your thoughts on just you know what, where X is now? Man, X. X is like a brother to me, man. You know what I mean. We we came up together. You know. Um. Had a lot of good times together. Mm-hmm. A lot of crazy stories. You know <laughs> me and X. I remember one, are, are one, any of those one crazy book? story. Oh, no, you're going to tell it now. Even better. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, 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 this is crazy. We was down in Miami, right? Uh-huh. So I come downstairs, and I see X. He's sitting out in front in, in, in the bins. He's like, yo, Rule. He's like, yo, Rule, come. Yo, no, let's ride. Let's, we out. So I'm like, all right, let's, where we going? You know what I'm saying? He's like, come, let's get some ride. I got some weed. You know what I'm saying? We're going to ride. We're going to have some fun. Woo-woo. So I'm like, all right, I'm riding with you. Let's go. Jumps in the car with him. We ride out. Come to find out, he stole the car that we riding in. <laughs> like this, this, this is fucked up. And what year was so, this? This was like, ah oh man, this is probably like 2001, 2002, <laughs> something like that. He stole the car we riding in. He stole it from uh, Michael Kaiser. Okay. It was Kaiser's car. He stole the car. <laughs> so now we ride. So now we get pulled over by the police because X. If you ever roll with X, X feels that he has to be going faster than every car on the road. Uh-huh. Like he has to be in front of every car that's in front. So he's speeding, weaving in and Real out cars. Belly. Yeah, he's he's yeah. bugging out in the car, doing all types of crazy driving tactics. So the police pull us over. Police pull us over, and they like, yo, license registration. Woo woo. X <laughs> gets to tell the story like, well, you know, this is not really my car. This is, this is such, such. And I'm looking at him like, what? Like, yeah, this is the first I'm hearing any of this. So the police said, all right, I understand what you're saying. It's, it's the label guy's car, and you guys took the car, whatever, whatever. But I'm not going to lock you up, but you're also not going to go anywhere in this car. So he takes us out of the car. So now we on the side of the road, no car, in the middle of nowhere. DMX and Ja Rule. DMX and Ja Rule. So I'm like, X, man. I'm like, I'm like, what type of dumb shit is this, man? Like, why would you take the car? You know what I'm saying? Like, we, now we can't ride or whatever. whatever. So he, um, he says, don't worry, Rule. I know what we can do. <laughs> he goes inside the road, puts his thumb out, and starts hitchhiking. Stop it. Some chick picks us up. She's like, oh, my God, it's Ja Rule, DMX, Rule. Puts us in the car, takes us to her hood, her, to her mother's house. And, like, yo, it was the craziest. We in there. We signing autographs. We getting home cooked food. Like, me and X got so many stories, man. So I, another time, you know what I'm saying, I was with, my, with, with X, and we in Manhattan. And he sees the dude, you know how the dudes come up with the watches. Mm-hmm. So he sees the dude, the dude come up with the watch. He's like, yo, I got some watches. X looked at the dude, he said, yo, what you doing with my brother's watch? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? You know what I'm saying? X snuffs the nigga, pow. Knocks the dude out, the dude is out on the ground. So now we go, he takes the watches. We go up into the studio. We was, I think we was in quad that day. We go up in quad. They call us up on the phone from downstairs. Yo, the police is on their way upstairs. So now I'm like, damn, I'm going to get out of here. Let me, let me find my way out of here. You know what I'm saying? So I try to hit the stairs and get out of there. X goes and hides behind the, 
This is when back in the days when we had the, the reels, the big reel machines. In okay, yeah. So uh-huh. He's That's hiding behind the, the reel. Yeah, to yeah. cut the tape. Yeah. A lot of MCs don't know about that. You know what <laughs> <laughs> so he's hiding behind the reel machines. You know what I'm saying? So the police come. So I'm trying to get down the stairs. The police is coming up the stairs as I come. So they got the dude with them. He get, they get the police get off the elevator with the dude. So the police asked the dude, he said, hey, is this one of the guys? The guy looks right at me and said, yeah, that's him. <laughs> they locked me up. Take oh, me, no. they locked me up with me. To, but me and X, we got, we got crazy stories. We got a crazy history, man. I love X, man. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I was hurt, you know, when, when our thing kind of went sour mm-hmm. because people were saying, yo, you know, they, people was getting in his head, yeah. people around him, yo, yo, whoa, he trying to take your shine. He trying to sound like you. He yeah. trying to do what you do, you know, whatever. And then I seen X one day. After we was going through that, I seen X one day in the airport. And I'm like, yo, dog. I'm like, yo, what's up, X? And I said, yo, you you really, like, you, you really letting people fill your head up with, with, with all of this? I'm trying to be like you. And I said, X, you make, get at me, dog. <laughs> what the deal? Hmm. I make every little <laughs> thing that we do, you know what I'm saying, should be between me and you. I said, X, this it's different. I said, yeah, we got deep voices. You know what I'm saying? We both got a, a, a certain growl to what we do on records. I said, but X, what we are doing is very different. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? You're right, Rule. You're right. You're right. And then he commenced to tell me, it's drag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm mad at drag. I said, yo, X is good. That's what I knew. I said, X is a lunatic, man. But Hilarious. Yeah, he's a he's a good dude, man. And, and I wish him all luck in the world, man. I, I hope he... He, you know, he he gets well and he and he does well Absolutely. and he comes back and does his thing, you know, and everything. And with Jay, you know, um, I love Hov. You know, he's like a big brother, and they both was like big brothers to mm-hmm. me. I, I learned a lot from these dudes mm-hmm. being on the Hard Knock Life tour. Definitely, you know, um, I learned a lot of uh, of how to be as an artist. You know, what I wanted to be as an artist. You know, I used to see X. He used to be. You know, he signed every autograph and do everything, you know. And Jay, you know, the way he handled himself, you know, business-wise and stuff like that. So I learned a lot from these dudes, mm-hmm. man. And I got a lot of love for Jay. You know, we went through our little thing, too. Mm-hmm. But that 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 was more just competitive spirit. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I'm, I'm wanting to be the, the best. And, and all the three of us wanted to be the best. And Absolutely. Leo used to play on that. Yeah. You and know, Leo the used to be. Time, y'all was right there. Yeah, and we was all neck and neck and dude. Yeah. Top yeah. spots. And so it was crazy. And, and Leo would come in and like, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, you know, X is working on a new album. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'd be like, well, I got to get in and get it. You know, Jay's just about to do his new album now, you know. So Leo used to play on that competitive edge because it was good for Def Jam, too. Mm, as course. long as we was in that studio creating, they was making money. You know what I mean? So. You know, I, I got a lot of love for both of those men, man, and, and I'm, I'm I'm real happy for Jay and to see what he's doing in the in, in the music business and the way he's taking the game to a whole nother level is really dope.